Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. I can average around 155, 165 words per minute typing. And today I wanted to talk about the home row method and why you should be using most, if not all of your fingers while you type. And if you already do use the home row method, I'm gonna be talking about some tips on how to remap your fingers, as I like to call it, to further improve your speed. Now, I have been remapping my fingers, so I'll probably be hitting like 120s, 130s at most today. Keep that in mind. Also, quick disclaimer, the comments have been really positive overall, so thank you everybody for dropping comments on the video. I'm still replying to all of them that I can. Just keep in mind, I'm aware I'm not the fastest typist in the world. There are other content creators on this platform, many of which you can find very easily who are much faster than I am. I'm just going over tips that helped me personally, what worked for me in hopes that it can work for you. I might say one thing, someone else might say something different. Try them both out, see what works best for you. That being said, I have been remapping my fingers recently and I wanted to make a video about it because there have been a lot of comments saying, you know, I stopped using two fingers and did a few fingers, my speed dropped and then increased again. And that's what typing and practice in general is all about. Anyway, we'll get into the remapping at the second half of this video, but I wanted to talk about everyone who just pecks or hunts and pecks their keyboard and why you should be using the home row method. Anyway, we'll be using Keymash. Uh, they're not sponsoring me or anything. They just recently hosted a competition. I have, my setup's really janky right now, so I have ooh, three, two, one. Ah! Um, that's the best test I've taken in the past month. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Let's talk about what the home row method is. If you already know what it is, you can find the timestamps in the description below and on the video bar to skip to where I talk about remapping. For those of you who don't know, there's a very good chance that when you type, you're using just your pointer fingers on the keyboard and you're, you're looking for each of the keys individually. The USB thing is taped here in case you're wondering. Now, if you look at your keyboard, there is a very good chance, if you're on a QWERTY keyboard, that there are gonna be little indents on the F key and on the J key. This is the home row. This is the middle home row. And the idea behind the home row method, and you can read a lot more about this on sites like typing.com or Keyber, but the idea is that your fingers rest on ASDF for the left hand, JKL co uh, colon on the right, and from there, you use each of your four fingers to hit different keys. When you're on ASDF, and you can see a great visual, Keyber has it every time you do a test on their website, your left pinky is meant to hit QAZ, your middle, your ring finger is WSX. This is the official method, right? But the main idea of why you should use it is pretty simple. I'm gonna be using the word ravenous because of the letter placements in the word. But the idea is what's gonna be faster? Someone who has to type R-A-V-E with their left hand, that's what I use my left hand for, and then N-O-U-S, or someone whose fingers are gonna be pretty much already on the keys, R-A-V, and then E-N-O-U-S. E -N -O -U -S. When you're doing something like running, you wanna get from point A to point B as fast as possible. When you're using the hunt and peck method, or you know, you might not be hunting and just pecking, you wanna get from R to A to V to E as fast as possible. You can't do in running, but what you can do in typing is make that distance much shorter. So instead of going from R to A to V, you can simply Middle finger, left pinky, and pointer finger. That's the idea. If it takes you one second to get to each of these keys and 0.2 seconds to go RAV with all these different fingers, I don't know. I, I think you get the point. The reason why the reason why you want to use the home row method is because you are essentially eliminating as much distance as possible to get from point A to point B to point C, whatever. Do your hands need to be resting on ASDF, JKL, colon? No. Whatever's comfortable, whatever works for you, but definitely start off this way. This general rule that you want to keep in mind as well as you're getting used to this is to never have one finger going between two keys that are very far away from each other. If you don't already use the homer method, this is the one thing that you pretty much must change if you want to become a faster typist. I do know a few people who can type at like 100 words per minute with the peck method, and it only makes me wonder how fast they could type if they got used to the homer method. Now, the problem is if you're really used to the hunt and peck method and you're someone who can type at 100 words per minute with this pecking, then remapping your fingers, changing your muscle memory is going to be a very long game. This becomes even worse when you wanna remap your fingers if you already use the homer method. And I'll use myself and my misery these past few weeks as an example later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. But you're essentially working to override muscle memory. Now, in order to show this principle, I'm actually going to do the exact opposite and go from homer method to the hunt and peck method. So I'm gonna just using my little my little doigts. Oh, the, it has just occurred to me that on the earlier typing test, my keyboard was not in the camera frame. That's awkward. That, the, I'm hunt and pecking because I don't know how to, ah. So I can actually talk at the same time, which I didn't think I was gonna be able to do. But essentially, uh, I have to override 
use left ring finger for the A key, for example, in order to say, okay, use the left pointer finger to hit the A key. That's right. Okay, 44 words per minute with Hunt and Peck. That felt like misery. If you can type at 100 words per minute with Hunt and Peck and you go to the Homer method, you're probably going to feel a very similar thing that I just felt. I'm, I'm used to doing this, this finger hits that key, this finger hits that key, but I'm now doing this and thinking, okay, I can't use my pinky, so my left hand has to go all the way over here. And that is actively trying to override your muscle memory. This needs to happen. When you're Hunt and Pecking, if you're doing, if you have your fingers out on the keyboard, you might be tempted to literally move your entire hand. One tip I have for this, and a general rule you should continue to follow is that you want to move your wrists as little as possible. The less wrist movement that there is, the less distance you are traveling between keys. Now, this muscle memory can get very frustrating. And I'm gonna talk about this more with remapping because that's when it's even more frustrating. I could type at 160 words per minute with this strategy where I only use three fingers on my right hand, but I have to force myself to slow down. So if you can peck fast, do that for when you need to, but put aside practice time for this home row method, then start applying it and you will see your speed start to build and eventually surpass your pecking speed. So you're using the home row method and you've been using the home row method for a while. Like me, you wonder what you can do to become faster at typing. One thing you can do is consistently practice. Right now you're typing with all of your fingers, but it's it's pretty slow. The more you do it, as I mentioned a bit earlier in the video, the more your muscle memory builds. You might need to continually look down and up and down and up at the keyboard to know, okay, the A is going to be all the way over here. I promise you this will come with consistent practice. Consistent practice. I promise. Your muscle memory will build and you will no longer have to look at the keyboard because you've hit the A so many times with that left pinky, you no longer need to look down at the keyboard. This is one of the issues I was having. So I spilled water on this Logitech MK470, if you want to know the name. The only reason I have the name is because people asked for it. So I went out and bought another $15 Bluetooth keyboard. It's working again. I don't know how, don't ask me, but these ones are much flatter. The keys are bigger. They're more spaced apart. It was really hard to get used to. And I tried to get used to it for the past two or so weeks, but I was like, no, this isn't this isn't happening. So I switched back to my, my loved one, the Russian characters on it and everything. I still want to get good with that one. But anyway, before you do this consistent practice speeding up thing, Maybe you are already very fast and maybe you're not. And if you're not, then definitely keep an eye out here because you want to make sure your fingers are mapped properly. And by properly, I mean efficiently. What do I mean by more efficient? Well, the less distance that you have to travel between keystrokes. When I made my first typing video, I was editing and I realized that I did something a little weird. First off, I noticed that my left hand was never moving. My wrist was never moving and my left hand was doing most of the work. My right hand, however, was doing a lot of movement on the sides and I realized that I very rarely use my ring finger, never use my pinky, and because my left thumb handled the space bar, never used my right thumb. So I was effectively using these two fingers, and that's it. So if I ever wanted to type high, I was good, just H-I. But what about hope? H, O, P, and then E with my left. And I realized I was doing this and I thought, okay, if I can introduce my ring finger on my right hand and my pinky on my right hand, now my left pinky, which is so weak by the way, and very frustrating to work with, then maybe as I practice that new muscle memory, then rebuild my speed, I can get to my goal of 190. So let's do a quick typing test and I'm gonna try to, as efficiently as I can, use most of my fingers. All right, I was trying to keep track of what I was typing, so this is definitely very slow. Some things I noticed was that I missed the P key with my ring finger and my muscle memory went OP with my pointer and my middle finger, which is not what I want to do. The thing is I'm conscientious of it and that's what you want to keep in mind. If you're mapped inefficiently with your fingers, there is only a certain threshold you will be able to reach. Obviously there's going to be a threshold no matter what, but I feel that I've gotten pretty good at incorporating my right ring finger. My right pinky's getting there. I still really abandoned my left pinky, but I'm working on it. And I feel as though if I can get back to the speed I was moving when I was just using these two fingers and like four fingers on my left hand, I can probably pretty easily, dare I say, hit 180. When I first started this remapping process, I was consistently getting like 90, 100 words per minute. I was using Keyburr because they just have a really good system for people starting out to type. Someone recommended I live stream my typing practice sessions and I did that for one of them. It was super fun. I don't know what you would want to ask me though. How much chocolate milk can you drink in five minutes? I don't want to find out. I don't want to, I don't want to know that answer. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, just link in the description down below. I'm going to make that a consistent thing as time goes on. But last note, as you try to remap your fingers, if you find that you need to remap your fingers or simply just pay more attention to what your fingers are doing, I know on my left hand, I often end up with hitting Z with the middle finger, which is just not something I should be doing. Because if I hit Z and need to go all the way back over here for something, 
If you're getting frustrated because of how slow you're going, keep in mind that that's a good thing. Working on your muscle memory and you're going slow because you're doing the right placement, then eventually you will be able to get to the speed you were at before, but with more efficient finger mapping and therefore you will overall become faster. All in all, this is the long game. You gotta practice. I would recommend practicing 15 minutes a day. Really, really mindful practice. Really focus. Oh my God, I hit OP with my pointer in my middle. Shoot, shouldn't do that. If you go fast enough, it can be kind of hard to think these things out. Mindful practice, that's all it takes. So I'm gonna do a few tests on Keymash and just see how it goes. I think actually having my wrists off of my desk have been helpful. 141, cool. My left hand has probably numerous issues, but you can probably see the pinky not moving at all. I remember back in February of 2020 when I was first trying for this 180 WPM in one month, my left pinky was up in the air the entire time and I don't use it, probably won't. Oops, <laughs> general stand, driven by near, spin, plan. I did it again. My right hand just went to the right. Check to trouble, final crop. Yeah, did just did it again. Yeah, so what did, I hit I with the middle finger again not the ring finger. Hopefully you're starting to get the point. The During that test, I called myself out. Just make yourself conscientious of these things. Now, I went over a bunch of typing websites in my last video, but this is Kieber. I'd highly recommend it because you can go as slow as you need to. Should I be hitting C with my left pointer? No, I shouldn't. I should be using my middle finger. Originally, I was like, ooh, hit C with this, right? But row duct causes me to go C and then T. But if I do C, T, do you get the point? My fingers have to just go boop instead of boop boop. I don't know how else to verbalize. In terms of remapping your fingers, don't be afraid of going slow again. Tout that you reduct. Ooh, unlock the get 150. So that's literally the best score I've gotten on this website was 165 earlier today. <laughs> Bruh. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you're blazing fast on the keyboard again, make sure you check your finger remapping. Where is it at? If you're still hunting and pecking, give home row a shot and be consistent with it. Kind of really work to use it. And over time, I promise you will see yourself improve. I used Keymash today for these small tests. They, they're brand new. Love the layout site again, not sponsored or affiliated. I just think it's really cool. Keeber, again, another great resource, especially for remapping your fingers because you take it at your own pace and their epic statistics tells you what key combinations you need to work on most. Anyway, more sites in that last video. But yeah, again, I will be streaming my practice sessions in the coming weeks more frequently. So check out my Twitch link in the description down below. Yeah, I'm doing it on Twitch, not YouTube. Now, I don't make strictly typing videos on this channel, but if there's typing tips or advice that you'd want to hear from me that you think my opinion is valuable for that you won't find on a channel like Speed Typing, who does primarily and solely typing videos, definitely let me know. I'd love to talk more about it. That being said, I'm going to go continue fighting imposter syndrome with this channel by editing this video and uploading it for you, but have a good one. Don't forget to practice mindfully, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.